Hey everyone, here we are, day two, day two of our cootie killing immune boosting love attracting challenge, really an opportunity to be with the times and today we're focusing on our inner Purell, <laughs> which sounds ridiculous. Um, I know, but uh, you know, things are changing every moment. So our inner world is so important. So I'm just so glad that we're taking this time because I will say this time to like be able to be present with our, our own process and be something different for the planet is truly everything. I'm so glad to see you. Oh my gosh. Hi, everyone. So, like I said, today's theme is basically awakening the inner Purell. And I think of that, you know, what we talked about yesterday in a lot of it was about awareness and that you can't you can't quarantine love. So anywhere where you have thought, okay, well, I have to stop everything, you can let that go because this is an opportunity for us to create new ways and just to be different than we were before. And yes, does that come with you know, fear and doubt and uncertainty and all of the things, yes. And that doesn't have to take us over. So that's why yesterday I was talking a lot about, you know, really being aware of that because the emotional things that are arising right now, the fear, the uncertainty, whether it's with health, family, our money, all of it, being alone, all of that stuff um, is arising for a lot of people. So just re reverting back a little bit to yesterday before we dive in is that, um, is that uh, we are the ones people are looking for, everyone here. And all of the stuff that we're sensing and perceiving, the fears that may be feeling like, oh my God, I'm panicking or whatever. This is the time to ask, is this even mine? Because I shared yesterday that, you know, we're, we're feeling a lot and a lot of people are really convinced that, um, well, I mean, we don't really even know what's happening, but it, but when we're aligning and agreeing with, you know, the worst case scenarios, then, then that is going to feel solid in our body. So, um, Tara says, I'm here. Our governor's calling us at the same time, but this is more important. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm so honored. And so today, um, the, I want to see what I actually called it because now I'm kind of forgetting what I said specifically around awakening, awakening the inner Purell. Well, who cares? I know. Um, you know, I said that because I thought it was funny and I like making up titles. But actually, you know, what I'm aware of with all of this is, you know, how can we be who we really are, like remember who we really are. How can we actually acknowledge our infinite selves? And um, so, whereas, you know, we get into the, the, the body stuff and the emotional, you know, roller coaster of it all, but the truth is we are space we are an infinite being we we are that space and the purell is like that cleansing that antiseptic that killing all of the you know the distractions of the fears and the stories and the things that 
actually stop us from being able to be space. So today I want to play with that. I want to play with that together in acknowledging and accessing that. You know, if we think of Purell as taking out anything that is not serving us, and then that's opening up that space that is us. And guess what? We are, our bodies are within that space. It's not like the space is in us, even though I said inner Purell. We are the space. So if, um, so let's, let's, let's sort of presence ourselves with that. And this is to say too that, you know, whatever is coming up for you, um, may I be the reminder that you are the strongest thing here. Like you being you is the power and the Purell that will be the greatest contribution to this planet right now. So I know that, um, you know, it's, we can think about, you know, actual ways of serving, like offering support or healing tools or, or different trainings or delivering food to people who need it or, you know, whatever it is that we're making phone calls to people like all of the things that we can do that are actual doing things but what is that space of being that we can be that becomes something that is so powerful that it changes the world just by you choosing to be more of that so i thought it would be helpful to to really, it's almost, it's kind of an affirmative prayer. And in affirmative prayer, it just, it really actually heals our mind when our mind wants to like latch on to a lot of fears. So I invite you to join with me and do a little practice together. So if you can get comfortable in your seat and I just touched my nose. I'm, I'm going to Purell. <laughs> Get comfortable in your seat. <sighs> Closing your eyes if you want. And just begin to just bring your attention to you. Bring your attention to your breath. Bring your attention to this time and space. So although your mind may want to go fix something or look at the news or you know, try to like run right now. Are you willing to gift yourself this moment to just arrive here in this space, noticing your breath, but noticing the seat below you, wherever you are, maybe you're standing, the floor below you, the seat below you, the bed below you, whatever it is. And as you're here, Let's affirm right now this prayer. And as I speak, I'll probably use I. And if I say I, just allow you to be talking to you with that. So I, right now, in this time and space, I take a breath. I take a breath here and now in this space so that I can arrive in this moment knowing that this moment is the moment where the world, the earth, Mother Earth is pausing in a lot of ways. And as I'm aware of all the places and spaces that people are pausing, they're inside. 
I recognize that connection, that connection of my energy with all of the things, the people, the animals, the plants, even the connection to the virus. And as I'm aware of me and my space of me that is connected with all things, I recognize that we are all one. That it's just one energy that is here now that as I'm connected to the people I know, as I'm connected to, you know, my, my body, that I'm also connected to all of the bodies. And right now, I notice how good it feels to recognize that I'm not alone. To recognize that who I am is a contribution to the ripple of all things and that there is no right or wrong. So I affirm right now that there is no fear in the oneness of all. There's no fear in that greater energy, that greater spirit, that universal life force that exists on the planet and that in that universal life force, that, that greater spirit being, whatever you like to call it, God, goddess, spirit, whatever that is for you, that fear does not exist. And that from that space, that all things are working out for a greater good. That all things are arriving in service of this greater energy and how good it feels to know that this is my truth, that I am part of that. And even when I feel alone, even when I'm worried about someone else, that even when it looks like things are crumbling, that there is something beyond all that that is holding me, supporting me, loving me. And as I breathe in this moment, I breathe in the magic and the miracle and the healing and the transformational energies that are available in my awareness of this greater energy. And I affirm for all safety and happiness and healing and as I affirm this for me, I affirm it for everyone, everything on this planet, including Mother Earth and beyond. And how good it feels to feel that right now, that as I affirm it, my vibration expands, it expands, it expands, it surrounds, it touches, it changes the cells, it zaps away viruses, and it becomes that love that is the most healing thing. And thank you, thank you, thank you for this moment, for bringing me here in this moment to receive this. And I'm choosing to receive this now within my body, the healing within my body, as it is just a component of that greater universe. It's just an expression of the greater universe that when I'm in this space of expansion and love, that it is the most powerful thing. And as I breathe and take this breath, this 
this prayer awakens in all others who may not know to pray right now, that may not know to remember their truth, remember who they are, may not be able to, and that's okay, that this, this is still buzzing in the field of consciousness right now, creating so much healing space and love and joy and miracles and magic and how exciting it feels right now. I just feel so joyful and excited that I am that magic. I am that inner Purell that is expanding throughout the world. So I acknowledge here that I have the choice to be this in any, at any moment, that I can choose this, I can return to this, that this is part of who I am. And I allow myself to actually feel some giddiness, some joy, that knowing that just me doing, being this right now, that me arriving here and choosing to be here has just created something so different. And anywhere where I doubt my magic, I, I let that go. I let that go right now. Because I am the magic that the world needs now. Just, I am the healing. I am all that Mother Earth is inviting us to be. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And so it is, it is done, it is done, it is done. Thank you. So as you breathe and return back into the space, notice how it feels right now. Notice how it feels and know that you get to um, return to this space. So I hope this was helpful in you, in your body. And if you missed part of it, go back and watch the replay. And stay tuned. Tomorrow we will, I'm just looking at what we're, what we are playing with tomorrow. Please let me know what you need at any time, but we are doing, we're working with our amusement tomorrow. I call it the immune baboon buffoon balloon because, you know, just because we are in a unprecedented place, it doesn't mean that we don't have a place to choose joy. So as we become aware of the fears that come in and distract us from our, you know, real space and actually our power of what we can be, we can also be aware of all of the choices that are available and the things that we can create in each moment, even just by receiving the sunlight, you know, receiving that right now I have a chair to sit on right now I can create a delicious cup of tea right now I am here with you right now I can connect and I can learn things I can I can be something that is really actually inspiring a difference for others and I can be something that can actually maybe even interrupt somebody else's uh, panic or fear and whatever. We don't even have to um, know or know, have a successful elk. We don't have to like have these expectations, but, but just know that this space, if you can be this bigger space, then that is going to give you and your body so much more immunity, power, love, joy, healing, which is changing the world. 
So thanks for being here. I hope that was helpful. And we will see you tomorrow at 1.30 Mountain. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye.